everyone, it's me, Roxanne, and I'm back today with a brand new video featuring the Viking Jade 20. This is my first video featuring this machine, and in this segment, I'll be showing you how to thread the machine and two different ways to wind a bobbin on this machine. So let's get into it now. When threading, the first thing you need to do is power up the machine with the little button on the side. That sound and action you heard right here at the needle was the machine recalibrating itself, and it will do that every time it's powered up. The next thing you need to do is open the top cover of the machine to expose the spool pin, and make sure that your needle is at its highest point, which will be pressing this button. That's for the needle down and pressing once again, and now you know the needle is at its highest position for threading. The other very important thing to remember is making sure that your presser foot lever is up. You don't want your presser foot down when threading. Start off by placing the felt onto your spool pin, and then your thread onto the spool pin. The next thing you want to do is put a spool cap on to keep your thread secure and then let it down to its resting position. Take a little bit of thread out and you're going to want to go under this first area and then around to this area and then straight down through this slot. Here's the thread that I pulled down through this first slot. Go under to the second slot and straight up and pull the thread all the way back until it sort of clicks around the take up lever in this area. Then go straight back down that second slot again. Now the last step before threading your needle is to go through this thread guide right above your needle. So take your thread and go right around the thread guide just like that. Now the last step is to thread your needle using the needle threading mechanism. Notice this small hook. Go under and over that. Press this little lever down. This little arm will swing right behind your needle. Then you go from under to over through that little fork until you feel it catch, which is a little hook that goes straight, straight through your needle. And that's another reason why it's very important to have your needle at its highest position or this uh, needle threader won't work. So then you gently let go and your needle is threaded, just like that. Now I'm going to show you the standard way to wind a bobbin on the Jade 20. Start off as if you were threading with the your spool on the spool pin, and go over to the left, right under the first thread guide, just like you did when you were threading. Go around the back of this thread guide, and pull it straight forward until it's under this thread guide. Now go around this next thread guide and under the tensioner and pull this thread straight over to your bobbin winding mechanism right here. Now take a bobbin, and I got green bobbins to match my machine, and notice that there are some holes in the bobbin. On one side there are false holes, but on the other side there are real holes. So find a real hole, and from the inside you want to thread your bobbin pull out a little bit of thread and then place your bobbin on the bobbin winding mechanism and press it to the right. And you want to hold that little tail. Now start your machine. 
and wind your bobbin. Now what I've noticed is sometimes it doesn't wind perfectly even, so I just bump it to keep it as even as possible. I'm going to stop it. This does not have an auto stop feature, so you will have to stop your um, bobbin when it's full. Now you want to disengage the mechanism. Pull your bobbin off, and there's a little cutter right here to cut your thread. Isn't that handy? The second way to wind the bobbin, which is a time-saving uh, way, is what I'm going to show you now. I've gone ahead and I've threaded the machine as usual. Take the thread and put it under your presser foot, like so. And make sure your presser foot is in the up position. You want it threaded through the needle and under the presser foot. I hope. The next step, once your thread is under the presser foot, reach across. You'll notice this little metal piece here and another little metal piece here. You go right into this guide. So the thread essentially reaches across the front of the machine and then you'll follow the same steps with a new bobbin, placing your thread through the little hole on the inside and placing it on the bobbin winding mechanism and engaging it to the right. And then you'll go ahead and you'll wind your bobbin in a new way. And this is a time saver, so you won't have to unthread your machine and then wind a bobbin and then rethread your machine. This is all in one step. And this is something that was totally new to me. I had never seen uh, this in a sewing machine before. But from a few friends that I've met that own Vikings, this is something that they've enjoyed for many, many years. So I hope this you find this interesting as well. While I'm here in front of the machine, I wanted you to notice that when the bobbin winding mechanism is engaged, that there is a little SP in the LED display on the front of the machine. I also wanted you to notice these two metal pieces where the, uh, the thread passes in front of were very thoughtfully placed so that when you're winding the bobbin in the time saver mode, uh, the thread will not cut into the plastic casing of the machine. Now I want to show you that once you disengage the bobbin, it defaults back to stitch number one which is a straight stitch in the center needle position. Now I'm going to show you how to insert the bobbin. Pull this little black button to the right and your plastic bobbin cover will pop right off. Take the bobbin I just wound and it needs to be wound counterclockwise or in the shape of a P. This is a simple drop in, so you simply drop the bobbin in, and then you run the bobbin thread along this little track to stage the thread. When you get to the bottom, you pull it off to the right. Replace your plastic bobbin cover, and you're all ready to go. Thank you for stopping by today and watching my first video featuring the Viking Jade 20. I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more videos featuring this wonderful machine. I'll be going through step by step on all the different features that this machine has to offer. So as always, have a happy creative day. Bye now.